Hey guys, Stockat here, and I want to make a very quick video, um, and I want to talk about defenses when it comes to temples, and the main thing is get some kind of chaos or spell mitigation. So I'm just going to show off some items in particular, which are very handy when it comes to getting chaos mitigation. I still got this in my last video, so again, sorry for any repetition, but yeah. I currently have 58% chaos res, and with 5.5k life in combination with acro and phase acro, now that I've specced into it, I feel super safe in incursions. Um, if your build is currently really struggling in incursions and you feel like you're getting absolutely dumpstered on um, by chaos spitters and just general damage, a lot of it is spell based. Um, and if you get some solid spell mitigation, be it in terms of either spell dodge or spell block, and you get some chaos res, and then just focus on generally just improving the defense of your character, you'll be a okay. So. If you're a build which uh, benefits at all from physical to chaos conversion, I would highly recommend using a Ming's Heart. Ming's Heart by itself gives 63% chaos res. Yes, you lose some life. I lose about 400 life on my current build using this over using a rare ring. However, the main thing which is killing people currently is chaos damage and incursions, and this is far more defense than just having 400 life. So this is a good pick. For anyone playing a Sab, Use Kong Mings. I keep mentioning this, but I'm going to keep saying it. It's really good. It's very cheap. It's very easy to spam corruptions on. They're not very powerful um, defensive and offensive corruptions. You lose out on some damage from losing out on a um, spell crit shield, but you gain it in other places. Um, so if you're a sab and you've got the AB blind, this gives you 30% reduced spell damage taken from blinded enemies. The chaos spitters, they do a spell, not an attack. So this mitigates that damage. Um, and it just helps with your general blinding. So yeah, it's really good. If you're build blind stuff and you're dying to spell damage, consider it. If you're a I gotta go fast build, use Devotos. Devotos has Chaos Res. Seems good. If you're super budget and you're just trying to get into there, Joffrey's Crest has Chaos Res. Or just buy a couple of Res which have Chaos Res on them. Um, Joffrey's Crest is an example of another very good unique to just spam Val. Um, in an ideal world, you can get a plus five to sock the gems Joffreys. But more realistically, you know, if you just buy a couple of them, bar them, if you're in Trade League and that maybe sorts you out, then great. And you can always just, you know, go into your stash and just, you know, search for Chaos Res um, and see what have you got. So like, oh, this for example, oh, maybe I can make that work for my build, so on and so forth. Just go on PV Trade, focus on getting Chaos Res on one or two slots and you'll be feeling a lot better. So in terms of, um, you know, okay, Taki, obviously I could get some spell dodge. Obviously I could get some chaos res. Um, Gladiator, get that spell block. Gladiator is really good right now, um, especially since League starts now. Having the bleed explosions, yes, you could use hemophilia gloves. If you're SSF, you may not have those. Um, Gladiator is a really good thing to just recommend off the bat. So if you're super, super struggling, you could also play some CI. CI is in a good spot. CI has been in a good spot for a while now. And yeah, just sort of put some defense on your builds. We've been given so much free damage recently. You can honestly afford to drop some damage. I recently um, specced out of crit into Ellie Overload on my current Blade Vortex character so I could get more defense, basically get the points to get phase acro, and it was worth it for me. So if you're struggling, try dropping some damage, get some extra defense. Feels good, man. I'm Taki. Have a good day. Chaos Res, by the way. Bye-bye.